Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than my typical plan with me videos, but I think it's going to be a good one. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing the best and worst products for Mary Kay. If you've watched some of my older videos on my channel, then you probably already know that I at one point was a active Mary Kay consultant. I am no longer an active consultant and I'll talk more about that in some upcoming videos. The reason I'm sharing this content on my channel is because when I joined Mary Kay around this time, three years ago, yeah, three years ago, because my son will be three, I took to YouTube to look for some videos to help me, one, make the determination if it was something I wanted to do, two, to learn more about their products. I'd used the products for years um, for certain items, like lip glosses, lipsticks, etc but not the full scope of the product. So I looked at a lot of videos to help me understand what people will buy, what are some of the popular products, what are some of the thoughts around certain products. So it was helpful for me during that season, so I want to share my information. This video is not to recruit anyone, to sell any products, um, or to bash any company. I just wanna share an informative video from my perspective in hopes that it'll help someone else. But first things first, if you're new to my channel, Hey, welcome, my name is Coach D and I love navigating life strategically, hence the planning videos that you see mostly on my channel. But I also like to share pieces of my life in hopes to help you balance, grow, and succeed. So let's get started in the video. This will be in no particular order. I have all the products sitting beside me, so I'm gonna pick them up and we'll talk about them. So the first thing I grab is this lotion. It's still in the wrapper. I purchased it, I ordered this. Um, thinking that it would sell and it, it really didn't during the time when I was active. But this is the um, Paint the Sky Lotion and I just grabbed this as a generic example because the lotions don't work well with my body chemistry. The scents are not all of that great in my opinion. There are better lotions, drugstore lotions than, than what they have to offer. So um, the lotions categorize as a worst. The next one is the three-in-one cleanser. Unfortunately, this item is discontinued and now it's, I believe, the time-wise four-in-one, but I really, really love this cleanser. This works wonders for me. It's a three-in-one cleanser and I'm so sad that it's discontinued because I don't like the new product replacement. I do know that they brought back the lotion in the three-in-one formula, and I hope that someday they'll bring back the three-in-one cleanser. The next item is the oil-free eye makeup remover. This is a favorite for, my, for me um, because I do like to wear mascara, so it helps to get it all off so that I can wash my face. Um, it also works well for matte lipsticks. If you just take a little bit and wipe around your lips, it'll clear it all up. So this is a favorite for me. This is the oil-free eye makeup remover primer. This one is more of an honorable mention because I'm not sure if it's a legit, legit favorite, but I do like it. It's the Microdermabrasion Refine and it gives my skin a polished look. Uh, you only use this maybe once, twice at max a week and it'll just help to buff out your skin. It also helps me because my skin will break out, so it does help keep the um, acne at bay for me, and it just keeps my skin looking super polished. What most people think of when they think of Mary Kay is probably lipsticks, lip gloss, and the lip gloss is actually a really good product. For the price point, yeah, I get it. You could probably find a drugstore, a lip gloss that is just as good, but if you're looking at becoming a consultant and you wanna be a personal use consultant, I'll talk more about that in an upcoming video, hence why it's important to hit subscribe. But um, for the price point that you're gonna pay as a personal use consultant or someone that maybe orders every now and again, then um, this is actually a really good lip, lip gloss. All right, so this is a worst. And this is the 3D foundation. Actually, I categorize all of the Mary Kay foundations as a worst for me. As much as I want to love the foundation, actually, I do love the look that the CC creams and the foundations give me. They, I mean, hands down, the application is great. But 
it breaks me out. Um, I know there's a lot of controversy with whether or not the products actually break, break people out or not, but this legit breaks me out and it burns my eyes. If I get anywhere close to my eyes, like my nose type close to my eyes, it burns. Um, so as much as I want to like the foundations, they just really do not work for me. Um, and I don't have that problem with other foundations. So I think this is just specific to Mary Kay foundation. So that one is the worst. This one is mid-range. So I say that because it used to be a favorite. This is the um, Intense Moisturizing Cream. And I love this product for many, many years, but now I found something that works even better for me. And it's another brand that's a little bit more pricey, but in my opinion, it's worth it um, to help with my skin because it's severely dry. So this one is not a favorite anymore, but it did used to be. Few more to go. This is the mascara, hands down. I love their mascaras. I haven't found anything that works as well for me. <laughs> that works as well as well for me as their mascaras, but um, I do like them. This is the worst. I think this breaks me out as well. I can't confirm or deny with 100% confidence, but I'm not a fan. This is the sample size. I got the sample just to try it because I do like foaming cleansers, and this is the Value Firm foaming cleanser. And I purchased it just because it's foaming um, to use for myself, but I don't like it. And I think um, I had a reaction a couple times to it. So this one categorizes as the worst. Technically, I don't fit the demographic that this product is targeted towards, but I wanted to try it and it didn't work. Last but not least, it's another honorable mention. It's the Sun, Sun Care. This is the Broad Spectrum SPF 50 sunblock and i do like this it comes in handy if you're looking for a sunscreen to use in the summertime this one is a really good product i haven't had any issues with using it the scent is fine for this the use is fine just make sure that you apply it as per directed but this is another great product oh that wasn't the last one sorry this is actually a favorite so the mascaras um not the mascaras the eyeshadows sorry the eyeshadows are amazing. The color payoff is great. I don't have a lot of issues with fallout compared to other brands. So the mascaras, I mean, I, I keep saying mascaras. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but the fact the um, eyeshadows are great. These are the blushes and they're great as well. So I put it all in a customized palette and this really works for me. This is my go-to. Um, I've hit pan on a few of my eyeshadows. So I've replaced those over time and then I put a few that are now discontinued in here as well because I really like the colors. This is a new one. This, um, I think the mirror may reflect. But these are the bronzers and I really like the color of these as well and I put it in a little palette. So I believe that's all that I have for today's video. In my opinion, these are the best and the worst products. There are a few others that I've used that just didn't make the list today because I didn't want this video to be super long, but those are like the satin hands, the satin lips. Those are typically easy sale items because most people, regardless of how they feel about the brand, they do really enjoy the satin hands product at a minimum and more than likely the satin lips product. So there are a few others that didn't make the list. So leave me a comment down below. What are some of your favorite products, some of your least liked products? What experience have you had with the products? Just be kind when you leave your comments and I'll check them out in the comment section below. In the meantime, give this video a thumbs up. Also hit subscribe. I'd love to welcome you to my YouTube family. Bye for now.